I kind of compare it with being at a giant dog park. Some of them love it. Like you start giving them armpit scratches and they're just like giant dogs. They just start rolling around and they're flying all around you. But these animals are huge. People are intimidated by them, but once you once you learn their behavior, they're just right into you right away. They just look at you like a big chew toy. I could never see myself living anywhere other than the Pacific Northwest. I could literally spend every single day the rest of my life and never travel anywhere other than Vancouver Island, and I would still never have enough time to see this whole place. My first introduction to the ocean would have definitely come from my mom. She's me with the sea lion right there. Later on in life, I realized that it is a pretty unique experience to get to go out and spend time with these animals on a regular basis. Sea lions are a large, intelligent animal, and they're very sensitive of what your intentions are and, and how they choose to interact with you is totally their choice. If you're comfortable and, and they're inquisitive, they'll come and they'll chew on your fins or they come up and they chew on the edge of your mask or give you big kisses on the lips or big hugs. They wrap your, their fins around you and give you a big hug. People get sketched out about it. Like I've had lots of people contact me and be like, don't you think those things are aggressive? Just because an animal's putting its mouth on you doesn't mean it's doing it in a harmful way. They don't have hands, they can't explore their world with anything other than their mouth. There's people that spend man, a lot of money to travel to the other side of the planet to watch a group of large migratory animals in Africa or something say, and here I can just go out on my boat and it's not something I take for granted at all anymore, having the opportunity to do this.